Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, originally for this video, I had thoughts of kind of doing a uh, how flat can I make my chest type of video um, with trans tape. Um, you know, I tell people that I could do my chest flatter, but I don't mind it being looser. Obviously, this is not with my tape. This is just a sensor for the videos. Um, and it's that is true that I like my chest to be a little bit looser. I don't need it as super, super tight. But there's another truth that I've been kind of uncovering lately, and that's the realization that the method that I learned to do on myself is no longer working and with an 85 pound like bulk from starting hormones. When I first moved to Tennessee in 2016, I was coming out of a depression that had me just down to 135 pounds and now almost a year later I'm maintaining 210 and I'm afraid my chest has added some a little bit of uh, unwanted chunky bulk, you know, as well. And that being said, there's no way that my body could use the same train trans tape method and technique that I used when I started. So this video is to find out what my new technique is, how it's going to be different. I'll probably be able to um, use a different size of trans tape because normally I use like any size. So this time I'm going to be deliberately using the medium, two, sli two pieces of the medium instead of just one. I almost said slices. So let's see what method I would be if I were a customer hitting up the trans tape live chat that we manage. So to start, we're, only, we're going to need to know what size chest that I am. According to the trans tape guideline, trans tape comes in three sizes as well as your three skin tones to best fit your needs. So like sizing is more of a personal preference, but a quick guideline is kind of like an A, B is a small, a B, C is more like a medium, and then as far as like D's and big C's and D's and double D's, they tend to like the larger because there's more like coverage and like skin coverage. And some people report that they prefer using the small size because it's easier to manage. And our owner was like a long C and he enjoyed using the medium size and then the majority of his chest tissue and use the, the small size to smooth out the extra fat that would like come out up on here. When I began my journey at my smallest, I was like a small A cup. And now if I was forced to look this up and figure it out, I'd probably report that my chest is about a medium B cup. If you think that's different, drop a comment and let me know. I have no clue about that shit. So before, I just needed one, two and a half to three blue section strips of the trans tape. And now I'm gonna be needing two medium strips for my per side. Um, so let's try that on and kind of see how it goes. It's a voiceover. Pretty much here's a time lapse of me doing it. All right, so I'm putting on the medium strip. Right now I'm tearing down to make sure I've got my first two inches, which are my anchor strip that I'm peeling off right there and then peeling that second part back so it's more of a handle. And then kind of seeing where I wanted to put my um, chest area, the anchor strip in the middle and then also like tension to the side like this, kind of smooth release all without pulling you're not pulling super hard you're not pulling as hard as you possibly can um and then rubbing to activate it because that heat is what gets the um adhesive helpful and I'm, I'm i'm visualizing here like my second strip so on this side i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my left side and what happens here is i actually screw it i missed the crease where your the tape is supposed to be half you're trying to do half tape on your tissue and half tape on right below that crease so you're covering it up so this is the the mess up example but i wanted to make sure i showed you guys me messing up so you can see the process obviously i put it on right there i gave it a little rub and then i looked and kind of saw and was like wait a second this doesn't look right okay i'm gonna need to take this off and if you think you need to take it off take it off immediately if it's been longer than 20 seconds do not try to take that off without oil it'll be seriously painful so I got another strip medium strip rounding my edges I got my anchor strip ready I am peeling back so I have that handle rubbing the anchor strip to activate it making sure there's no wrinkles no moisture no sweat and um, then I'm pushing over to the side and flattening right under my armpit you're not going around to the back of your body you're not going all the way around um, and I'm just making sure that I got all the edges real good rubbing it out rubbing it in and now I can see okay that's where my second piece needs to go but then I screw up again and I realize okay this is not the medium that I had mentioned earlier in the video so I actually ended up having to do a, a uh, smaller one so I cut that smaller one up real quick and rounded my edges so that way I have a two smaller um, 
pieces to use on my chest so I'm making those tiny anchor strips and then you have to stagger the tape so you can't put it on top of each other it won't stick it needs to have skin so you want to have a little bit overlapping the tape and you want the ends to be a little bit for and a little bit after see this one I'm pretty much even and that's in the future my next application I need to make sure that it overlaps at least an inch to make sure that I have a good strong hold on it nothing happened this time but in the future it's a good idea to do so I'm gonna try to mimic the same thing on the other side and kind of pull this back and use it to get the rest of that tissue that's like piled up on top ignore my belly i'm gonna be getting this workout in soon but i'm just showing you guys what it is because this is real so yeah here's my chest after i put it on i'm feeling pretty good about that i feel pretty good about this for the first time application like changing up what i normally do um i feel like it is um I feel like it could be a little bit tighter even more so like if I were to this second piece if I were to have pulled a little bit harder it would have been more like this which have been a little flatter but I do have a little bit of a belly so you want it to look natural like if my chest up here was like completely shoved to the sides and that was it like you didn't and it was like completely flat and I had a belly it wouldn't really make sense like because even guys have like pecs so that's just something to keep in mind. So just to recap, as your body changes, so will your application method, and that's okay. Small A cups, use the small trans tape. B cups, C cups, use the medium. And D and double D plus, larger than that, just use the large. Multiple strips are super helpful when uh, correcting as well. Uh, don't forget to round your edges because that will help distribute the tension evenly. And the most important part, any deodorant, if you put it on and then try to put on trans tape, it won't stick. You have to be completely dry. So thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe for dope trans content. Oh, and if you want to join my free give back Facebook group where the winner gets a euphoria in the form of a deluxe kit of trans tape and one bottom dysphoria destroyer prosthetic every single month in the link below. So I love each and every one of you guys and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.